Hey guys, welcome back for a new video. Today I'm gonna discuss the third problem, the H index problem of the Kickstart 2022 problem. The H index problem is quite a typical topic to be discussed, so because it's a very new topic for me also, so it takes a lot of time to make the video for it. So the, here the question is simply suggests that there are H number of researchers and with H number of researchers there are H number of papers and each paper have at least H citations. So there have you, you have to make a function in such a way that the all the citations should be covered. Now you have to take here the input as T as your test cases and and every test cases should be pass at least once it means to say you have to go through the test case one also and you have to go for the second case also now if i go directly into the di directly jump upon the code here the code is very simple but it it is a simple complex about the bubble sort as well as they have used the priority queue functions here i have simply take the for loop which will move from i is equal to zero to n minus 1 so that each value of the arrays will be taken as your input and it will be stored now i have made a function for your priority queue if uh, if the line from 30 to 40 it simply suggests that here we have a we have a running a loop here we have running a loop of size n also we are adding and removing element from the priority queue by using qmt and q push function now uh, which is to be done at each step both of which takes log n time. You have to take a consider of the complexity also. So the time comp complexity for each test is n log n, which is slightly less than that of log n. And for t number of test cases, time complexity time complexity uh, complexity will be t cross n cross log n. So here is a simple code. I don't think so. There is any need of any misconception or of it. So this is the whole code. I hope you like my video and my explanation. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Keep coding.